Hello, everyone. Um, I'm over here across the street from the police department. Hey. Um, there is not much going on, but I definitely just wanted to touch base with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting on that to start. Um, this is where we're at, South Fluorescent and uh, Fluorescent and uh, what is that? Tiffin? That's right across the street from the uh, fire department and the police station. <clears throat> you can see that there are still protesters um, standing right here underneath the tree directly across the street from the police. The police have been sitting in a van over there with the lights on and in another car, and they've just been kind of watching the protest uh, from there. I don't know. I didn't catch wind of him being here, Brian. We're talking about the ACLU guy, Jeff. Um, I don't know if he's here. So there's protest signs. The police have been sitting across the street for a while watching people on the corner. Um, they've been having the bike protest all day. You can see they still have signs. We want justice. Arrest him now. Darren Wilson, racist police. We're still here. I just, I'm trying to get your sign, not your face. Yeah. Um, it says, until you arrest Darren Wilson, you will get no peace. You will not get days off. We are... Uh, we are petty. No justice, no peace. Puff, puff, pass. <laughs> uh, they were running it, all right? They called the media. They showed up. This is a group called Mask Mothers Against Senseless Killings. That's amazing. Uh -huh. Oh, she has this shirt. That's right. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about MASK? Uh, MASK is an organization that I uh, came together for with my son uh, had back in 2001. He was senselessly killed uh, coming here um, from Des Moines, Iowa. He was doing this last year at high school down at North High. He came here one weekend to visit me. He had, he had got a four-year scholarship at Iowa State. He came here one weekend to visit me because he wanted these tennis shoes that were 125 with Michael Jordan. And um, I said, no, don't come to the next weekend because income tax was going to be that next weekend. Uh -huh. But my son like, no, dad, no, mom, dad's coming this weekend, so I'm going to come down this weekend. He went by to see a friend of his, and his friend was at the skate ring. My son did a lot of uh, different stumps and songs, um, um, and... Uh, he, he stopped at the um, the front to talk to the detectives and the police officers from Berkeley and uh, they said while he was talking to him, this guy asked him for a ride home. This Berkeley, guy is, Missouri? At the skate ring. Okay, okay. okay. Um, this, this guy, um, well he had stopped at the, the he had stopped at the front to talk to the police officers because they knew him and they knew that he were gone for a minute. And so uh, while he was talking to them, this guy that he knew prior here to the school, Gateway High School, asked him for a ride home. And uh, uh, this guy had got into it with some gang members. And the gang members seen uh, my son, seen uh, the guy get my son's car, and they boxed him in on the highway. And my son was the one who took the bullet. He was 6'2 and a half, 17. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. He had just preached his first sermon before he got here. I'm so sorry to hear about that. How long ago was that? It was back in 2001. Okay. 2001. That was the year I graduated from high school. Huh? I said I graduated from high school that year. Oh. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah. So, so about the group, like you have a, um, do you, you know, you have a lot of moms that come together and. I, I don't have a lot of moms, but I do have mothers, other mothers from different organizations, but I do have some mothers okay. that are in my organization. Um, I don't have a lot of them, but it is some that are coming back together with me when once. They, they see me now and um, they had known me then, but we had uh, fell out of contact. But now I do have um, several mothers, maybe 10. I don't have a lot, but uh, it is mothers they get with me and uh, we, we, we get together. And um, it's, it's other mothers that I know that, um, have, that have organizations and um, they um, we, we try to get together. We supposed to march on the... October 27th, I believe, all the different mothers supposed to march. October 27th, and um, where are you marching like, here? Where, like, where's the march location going to be for you here? 
Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, right now, okay. it's, I really don't my calendar. Okay. I'm not sure, but um, we're supposed to get together in March, all of the different mothers. So. Well, I see I'm here standing for all mothers that have lost their children, have lost their child in a system act. Okay. Uh, there's so many killers that are going on here in St. Louis, and we got to continue to pray for the mothers who have lost their children, and we still we want justice for uh, Leslie McFadden, um, for Nadia, the movement, her mother, uh, and uh, evangelist Donna Scott, her uh, nephew who got killed. He uh, went to Emo's one night, Do Domino's one night, and, mm. with his family, and uh, they um, someone killed him. He went back in to get his change, and he was telling that the cash register um, that, he, that he didn't have his chain and she said I did give it to you like no so he went back out in the car and when he came back in uh, she must have called her boyfriend her boyfriend counted 12 times oh no and uh yeah well hey so, look I got a couple people one is in New York one is in Aurora Colorado right now and they're saying that they're very interested in uh starting chapters or becoming involved with the masks okay um do you have an email or any type I of do. okay I do um my email is e um mask mothers 17 at twitter and then they can catch me on uh, www.mothersagainstsisters.com Sorry, mass M A S K slash Mothers Against Sisters Killing. I am the mother with the different color face. Okay, so this your card? Yes. Okay, great. Because then I can do like this and let people look at it for a second and get that information. Um, I'm trying to make it visible for y'all. I'm sorry. Email. My email is on there. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this. It says um, Yvette Harris. Her um, email is M A S K M O T H E R S 17 at yahoo.com. Um, you can also call area code 314 399 8371. Um, and you can also find her on Twitter under Mask Mothers 17 as well. Um, okay, the Facebook is m.a.s.k uh, dash Mothers Against Sis Senseless Killings Incorporated. Okay? Okay, great, great. So they got the contact information. Thank you so much Thank for talking you. with me. My name is Bella. Thank you, Bella. Um, and I need the hair. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I am Mads. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Hello. What is that thing that's supposed to be being done where all the people are supposed to come from all over? Oh, uh, how are you good, how you doing? Um, I was just hey, supposed to lunch at 9 o'clock tonight. I don't even know. I know it was supposed to be some at 8, supposedly. Yeah. So I'm just here. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just yeah. waiting to see. Yeah, that's what I was under pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody, this is Mama Kay. Um, she has some pretty impressive cake designs. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you know I like baking. I've been experimenting with that. <laughs> but um, she also been feeding everybody and being like, you know, a very uh, intricate part of the support system within the movement here, which is pretty amazing because, you know, we, we can't do it without the mothers. And it's, it's inspiring to watch everybody coming in here and fighting um, in different ways. You know, and finding their creative ways of protest, whether it is like radically fe feeding, you know what I mean? Stay true, that's all me. No, you know, a, 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 a hungry soldier can't fight well, so right. you gotta keep the truth fed. Right, yeah. right. You gotta do that. So. Then you gotta have, you know, some little sugar free stuff yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta take care. Of it. You gotta take care of the family. Yeah, you know, gotta right. make sure that we can go fight one more day each day. Well, make sure that they all understand that we are a family. Oh, yeah. we got some work to do there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we got some work on that, but we're gonna get it. Yeah, we're gonna get it. You know, um, sometimes you gotta discipline your children, stuff like that. You know, but we we'll, we'll get it together. Yeah, we we'll get it together. I think we made great leaps and bounds from where we start. Oh yeah. So we oh, still yeah. got a little distance to go, but we on the way. So that's the important thing. You, know? you guys see that police truck pulling out behind Mama Cat? Yeah. See. Oh. There we go. Hey, somebody tweet hashtag arrest Darren Wilson <laughs> right now. Oh, I think I can do that. Can you do it? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I think so. All right. All right.
right, come on, y'all. Know, y'all know I ain't been streaming in a little while. I had to up to the updated version of the app. You got your people on the phone? Yeah, oh, I'm streaming now. All right. No problem, y'all. Thanks for watching. But, you know, I just wanted to turn the stream on for a little while. Nothing is really... I mean, what you see here is people standing there refusing to go in the house and let this issue be swept under the carpet. What you don't see is a whole bunch of, like, violent thugs tearing up the city and, like, do you, like, shoot, what, what would they say? Uh, sticks of dynamite or whatever. Like, you don't see none of that shit. Molotov cocktails. You don't see none of that. What you see is people here with protest signs. You see children. You see mothers. You see, you know what I mean? And everybody in between. So it's like, this is not, this is not what they wanted to, what they want you to believe it is. Stay true, that's all me. No help. Okay, y'all, I got to shut down because uh, my babysitter keeps calling my phone. Hey, I'm going to shut down and come back on, but my babysitter keeps calling my phone. And, you know, that could be uh, something going on with my baby. So I got to uh, shut down and check on that. But um, I'm going to give y'all a call back. Uh, I mean, excuse me. I'm going to pull the stream back up momentarily. Excuse me. After I give him a call.